Hello, and welcome to what is the first of what will be several videos covering the changes to Cinema 4D, the Artist Project Sourcebook, 3rd edition, with the release of R13. More videos will follow, including in-depth coverage of Cinema 4D's newest editions, including the Collision Deformer, C4D's Physical Renderer, as well as the built-in stereoscopic cameras and rendering options, and finally the overhauled character and rigging tools. This first video is dedicated to the biggest change you'll see in your everyday workflow, the layout. Let's open it up and have a look. All right, so we got release 13 open. We're gonna quickly go through a few changes in the menu, starting with the tools menu. You'll see a couple extra things here in the virtual walkthrough. You'll see virtual walkthrough and collision orbit. Uh, virtual walkthrough is a new feature that allows you to navigate through your scene using your keyboard and your mouse uh, like you would in a third person game. And then also the collision orbit allows you to determine uh, a camera orbit around objects in your scene. The mesh menu is new and what this is is basically a combination of the function and structure menus. So all those tools and options that you would find uh, in those menus have now been combined into the mesh menu. So if I go into components here, you'll see uh, now all these are available. So all these tools have now been combined into the mesh menu. And one other thing that's been added is very handy is the access center. And I'm just going to play with this right now. Let me go back to uh, here in the move tool. And so you'll see access center if I open this up we now have a dialog box that allows us to determine the axis of our object so I could drop this to minus y uh, to minus 100 percent. If I go to auto update that's gonna show me exactly where that axis is going to be put so then I could also determine an x value and now we've got that set up we could say execute close that down and now we've changed the axis of that object so very handy uh, to be able to do that and that's there at the bottom of the mesh menu under axis center um, also new in the character menu uh, these are going to have their own videos we'll talk about these in depth later but character C motion and the character builder templates here so loading and saving uh, templates can be found here. Uh, we'll also talk about the Collision Deformer, new to Cinema 4D Release 13. Very powerful, uh, excellent addition. Over here we have uh, a layout menu, just a quick tab that allows you to scroll through any presets you have saved. You can see those listed down here. I don't have any. Um, but then also some of just the standard setups, including your determined startup layout. On the right, you're going to have objects, uh, content browser, and structure all nested over here on the right now in tabs. And you'll see a similar configuration at the bottom. So you can still go to the, all those same places. They're just going to be uh, laid out here a little bit differently. Also, as I said, you have the layers uh, manager now already included but nested over here to the right which makes it handy uh, when you're adding things to your scene and you want to start separating those out getting them organized and just a more efficient workflow you can quickly set that up in the layer manager I'm just going to turn a shadow on here so we have something to this scene and so uh, I can, as before, just click here, say add a new layer. Maybe type in something for this layer. And then um, if I want to add anything else to that, that and add a new layer. So. And that allows us, uh, as we've done before, you can solo those things. So if you only want to look at certain parts of your scene, 
testing out animations, etc. It's nice to have that already included here. And of course you can pull it out. All these are configurable to however you like, but that's just the new preset. Over here on the left, we have a few changes. The object and model tools have been combined uh, to be nested here. Uh, you also have the texture axis mode uh, up here on the top left. And the object axis tool has been uh, taken to the bottom. So if I come here, uh, the move tool, <clears throat> I can come in here and adjust uh, the object axis manually. Uh, and that's just been moved to the bottom. The viewport also has some changes. You'll see a new menu, the options menu, and this is going to include certain things that have been uh, placed in other areas such as configure. So for any time you want to put something in the background of a uh, camera view or uh, if you're wanting just to adjust how your view works such as the the tinted border. Uh, so if I want to turn this up and maybe change the color to make it easier for me to see uh, what's actually in shot. Can do that here and also one of the new features stereoscopic and I can enable, enable that right here so I can see my scene in stereo 3D and again that's something that's going to have uh, its own video talked about later on we'll go in depth on how to set that up so hopefully this will get you started in uh, your scenes uh, for the book uh, these are a little bit different but pretty easy once you get a sense of how it's been changed so good luck and look for some new videos coming up soon. Thanks.